Do it. Do it, do it, do it. July's monthly subscription box from Foundation. It's a fun one. It's a themed one. This theme is because it's July. Uh, this theme is patriotic. We got red, white, and blue discs. So we got a Justice. Uh, you know, doesn't really need an introduction. Overstable, mid, forehand and backhand. It's just super stable. Then we have an ESP Cicada with a pretty cool custom stamp on it. Uh, I'll get up close and show you this one too. And then this one, I don't remember what it is, but it's a legacy disc. Uh, it's from that company. The plastic feels incredible. I don't know what it is, what this plastic is, but it's like almost like baseline feeling, but then a little gummy. I don't know. It's weird and feels really good. I think this was like, I looked it up. I think this was like a uh, kind of like Legacy's T-Bird. So we don't have a putter, so we're playing with our own putters. We'll play nine holes out here at J-Beast. If I can't birdie with every one of these discs, we'll be giving one of them away or all of them away because I could not birdie with any of them. Uh, let's get into it and see how it goes. Hole one is just a little forehand down there. 230 feet, we'll go Justice forehand. I don't think I've ever really thrown Justice, but I don't throw much DD stuff. Way too inside. Horrible kick. Sick. Unfortunately, out of the first three holes, this is probably my best bet at a forehand birdie because I go backhand on the other holes. So, we'll try to figure out the other two, I guess. And also figure out if we can make a putt today. Wow, I thought the thing was gonna be a lot more stable than that. All right, we didn't warm up our putt at all. So, first one's a good one. I thought that came out the backside. If we bogey with one of these, even though we've already birdied with it, it's off the table. Got to birdie with it again. Jumping over to hole three. 200 feet, kind of straight on this to the right. There's a hill that you don't really want to go down. Uh, I go backhand turnover on this, but I don't think we need to do a backhand turnover with the Justice. So I'm going to hit this flat out there hard, let it finish to the right, and then get our birdie because we didn't birdie hole one. Get inside. Uh, we should have a look. We should have a look. We'll see. We got a fine little look at it. Also, there's a new tree that just fell down here. Don't really know where it came from. Nice. If our putt's on today, could be dangerous. We could not be giving any of these away. Hole four, 370. Down this hill, up the little hill, in that gap. We're going to go Cicada, because I think this is just going to be like... Highs are flipped kind of dead straight. So I'm guessing I've only ever thrown a big Z cicada and it was really good. Uh, flipped up and then just kind of went dead straight. I think this is going to be about the same. So yeah, let's find out. ESP plastic feels pretty good. It's a little slick, but it feels good. Oh, you're flippy. Oh, okay. You're a little more flippy than I thought you were going to be. I feel like I put that on good hyzer. Flipped up, but kept turning. Well, we flipped it over, went into the bushes. Definitely thought it was gonna be less stable or more stable than that. Glad that hit something, cause now we have a putt. <laughs> Guess it didn't hit anything, it was just a bad shot, but. So no birdie with the cicada yet, but no bogeys yet. Now the first few holes, this one's, I feel like a bonus birdie. It's 400 feet down this, basically natural OB there, OB down there. We're gonna go cicada, just on the kind of a big turnover line. See if we'll just hold it the whole way down. Oh, you're stabling out. Okay. Wow. Not very good, but we'll get up and down. Well, this kind of really stabled up a lot more than I thought. It may have been a little nose up and kind of underpowered, but not a bad little look at it. We'll get up and down. Cicada has a little bit of a uh, puddle top to it. I don't know if that's just an issue with it in shipping, but it's not as domey as I thought like that kind of disc would be.
I didn't see that tree. Yeah, I never saw that tree there. We got a putt to make. Again. Oh, I'm so glad our putt's on. So, Cicada and that Legacy Disc are still not safe. Let's change that. Hole six, it's like 285. We're gonna try to finesse that uh, Legacy Disc down there. I usually go mid, just kind of blast it straight. Like this will be a little bit more touchy of a shot because it's a little faster. It feels, this plastic feels good. I just talked to a guy out here and he, felt, he said it felt to him kind of more like DD's baseline stuff where it's a little like gummy, a little sticky. It feels really good. Get stable through the trees, please. Get lucky. We'll have a look. I got very lucky. I was aiming at these trees that you kind of want to go in front of, uh, just like hyzer out to around here. Uh, but I got very lucky and pushed all the way through these trees to here. If you've played out here before, you know, sometimes you hit nothing. So outside circle look, but it's a look nonetheless. Yes, that was a good putt. <laughs> Actually, bad putt, good catch. That's what it was. Just like the last hole, this is not a disc I would throw. Normally throw on this hole. It's only 232. Or you go around this tree and into a gap down there. Just a hyzer. I'm gonna go cicada because we really need to birdie with it. Birdie with the other two now. So this is all that's really left. Push in there. If it got a little ground play, it may be good. Usually I just go like MD5 or Toro on this hole. That's all you really need. We didn't really get the ground play like I was thought I was getting. I thought we were gonna slide all the way down here, but for this disc, I'm not mad about this result. All right, now just bogey free the next two holes. I'm gonna put you all the way down here, so hopefully you can hear me the whole way all the way up here. It's hole eight, it's like 180, 190 foot. Downhill through this tunnel, it's a little flex forehand. We're gonna go justice. Uh, put you down there because I wanna hit the ace. First try. Calling it right now. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, that's right over top. Dang. We honestly didn't even get that close, but we'll take another birdie. Hole nine, 400 feet. I think this is the hardest par three on the uh, front nine. I guess they're all par threes. I need to wipe this thing off. But it's just straight down this, you got tight, Tunnel all the way down, it's downhill, so things get a little bit more stable going downhill. Uh, woods either side. We're gonna throw this guy because I wanna hit it hard and see if I'll just kinda turn down there and then stable up by the basket. Also this tee pad out here is one of the worst tee pads. It's always really slick for some reason. Yeah, that looks great. Get stable now. Yeah, that should be like 25 footer or so. There's a dog out here that is losing its mind. I'm gonna go check on it after this. Well, sorry that we were kind of birding everything besides like those first couple holes. Um, I like this. This may actually make the bag. I don't know what it is. Some kind of legacy disc, but I think I like it a lot. Um, yeah, the Rolo is still in the bag. I go to Texas in a few weeks, so if you're in Texas and want to hit me up and grab the Rolo, let me know. Uh, if not, we'll catch you later.